Ah, Argus, in all its splendor. So why go to this demon-infested nightmare of a planet? Well, maybe you want to hunt down some cool mounts. Or maybe you want to run through the Antorus raid for some bitchin' mogs, do some world quests, or invasion points. Whatever the reason, it can be a murky swamp of dead-end quests if you suddenly want to get there. Let's walk through it. If you go to Crassus Landing in Dalaran, and you see this empty space, you're going to have to do a short quest line to open the portal. You need to do this on a character who is at least level 45. For this demonstration, Venom is going to help us out. Venom is a very sassy and sophisticated level 50 rogue who absolutely loves doing stuff like this. So let's go into the Violet Citadel and talk to Mr. Cadgar. He will have a quest that will open the rest of the quest line. Specifically, you need Uniting the Isles. Don't worry about the other ones right now. Accept and immediately complete that one and fly back over to Crash's Landing, where the magical Cadgar will have magically blinked himself to so that you can accept another quest. Now accept Armies of Legion Fall and walk with Cadgar while he chats and bathes in the glory of his splendor. Boom! Quest complete, and you get to check off the Armies of Legion Fall from the Breaching of the Tomb achievement. Now accept the quest Assault on Broken Shore. Thankfully, there's a skip for this scenario, if you've already done it. If not, the skip won't be available for you, and now would be the time to do it. Once you choose the skip, you will be sent to the Broken Shore, where Cadgar wasted no time in blinking himself to, so you can turn in that quest. It's just so magical, or weird and confusing, I guess it depends on your point of view. Anyway, complete the quest and check off Assault on Broken Shore from the Breaching a Tomb achievement. At this point, you're on your own for travel, so go to the Flight Master and fly back. Or simply use your dollar on Hearthstone if it's available to get back over there. Once you are there, you guessed it, head back over to the Violet Citadel, where Cadgar will once again be waiting with his peeps, and once again, he will have a quest for you. This one being the Hand of Fate. Accept that quest, and now you're going to head back to your capital city. Orgrimmar for Horde, and Stormwind for Alliance. Easily accomplished by jumping through your designated portal. Now, head for the turn-in, as noted on your map. Turn in the quest and accept two with by sea, which is a shout out to Paul Revere for all your history buffs. One lantern if the British were coming by land, and two if they were coming by sea. Either way, they were definitely coming. Anyway, you're off to Azure Mist Isle. Turn in the quest to the Vindicator Boros and accept the quest Light's Exodus. Now you can either follow him into the Exodar or just mount up and go there yourself. Head down the ramp and turn in the quest to Prophet Velen. Accept the quest the Vindicar and activate the beacon. You will then be teleported to the Vindicar, a ship that is floating above Azure Mist Isle. Head to the front of the ship for the turn in. Complete that quest and accept Into the Night, and let the Prophet know you are ready. After a short cinematic, you will travel to the planet Argus. Now, go back up front and turn in that quest. To get yourself started here, go ahead and accept the next quest, Alone in the Abyss, and choose Take Me to the Surface. You will be teleported to the planet where you can turn in that quest and start adventuring on the planet. But for the purposes of this video, you will now have a portal to Argus sitting in Crash's Landing. I hope this video helps you in your World of Warcraft adventures. Thanks for watching.